how you can get these uh the new um ancestral awakening it is just crazy all right you know what i take it back this monster is pretty good Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another Monster Gens video. So today we have the new Ancestral Monster, Bobby Vashir at rank 3, level 132. I'm going to do a review on this monster, a full review. It's not going to be an analysis. It's going to be an actual review where we take it in battle and action. So we already have this monster at rank 3. I wanted to do a review letting you guys know if this monster is actually worth investing in. So I hope you're all excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go and get started. Ladies and gentlemen, I do want to give a huge, huge shout out to Loudtoots, not Buggy, Loudtoots, for letting me borrow his account to make this video uh, for you guys. So he went ahead and offered me and said, you know what, you can go ahead and review this monster uh, if you want. And I was like, you know what, why not? I mean, it's a new monster, you know what I mean? And I'm not sure if actually Bunky has it, but hey, thank you, Loud, uh, loud Suits, I appreciate you. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this monster straight away. Uh, we, so this monster is supposed, it's supposed to be a supporter, right? Now, what I actually wanna do, since there's two ancestral support monsters, I wanna go ahead and compare the speed, stats in general, especially the speed and life. So we have 22,048. Uh, whoops, that's not it, 22,048. Let's see, 20,000, 20,600. Wait, did I see that right? So this monster is faster, obviously. Let's take a look at the life. Is it tankier? 135.8. 135.8 so i'd rank 5 137 obviously this monster is tankier i was actually expecting that but yeah this monster is at 132 if i'm not mistaken this is the 1200 monster in the um in the book or in the um, actual collection so this monster's traits are actually quite nice i actually like the dodge area the fact that you start off with dodge area straight away at rank zero that's pretty nice so you don't really have to wreck this monster up to get the other traits you can obviously too unlock those traits but also increase the stats but at rank zero you're chilling you know what i mean you do have hardens as well that harden stays at harden it doesn't you know upgrade to tough or anything you get stamina regen to all allies not just yourself but to all allies so it'd be nice pairing it up with monsters that can infinitely attack you have stamina leak as well i sorry battle to everybody at rank five uh pretty nice stuff um i really like the speed though i actually do like that speed um we get 22k let's actually compare that to Tidepoint. it is faster than Tideborn. i'm assuming it's faster than everybody obviously um so let's go ahead and actually scout this monster and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the supporter see how nice this supporter is so i was actually at 137 even better that's cool 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 let's take a look at the stats um so you get about 34,265 power 992,125 life and 18,654 speed at rank 3 137 elements are doubled which is nice we have magic and water that's pretty cool um besides that this uh player is actually running a team speed with two strengths i wonder why we're gonna go and take a look at it in just a second hypersonic speed removes evasion from one enemy deals very low magic damage to one enemy gives one attrition to its off that's actually not bad although i, I would have taken per I, I feel like that would have been a lot better but if you're going up against elvira if you're going up against any other monster with evasion that'd be nice you can per that pr the evasion obviously not an actual pr but just getting rid of the evasion doing some damage and obviously getting a extra turn i would actually like that if it didn't deal any damage sometimes you can actually trigger like talents and relics um but anyways unknown powers room sponsor size from all enemies moderate magic damage to all enemies applies curse and stamina leak to all enemies i actually like an aoe per um, especially on an ancestral monster that's cool uh 40 stamina three turn cooldown on both this one's 50 stamina three turn cooldown wow yeah that stamina cost with the cooldowns are actually kind of high um blue sn so this has a moderate war damage all enemies removes 100 percent of stamina from all enemies applies a random mega satisfact to all enemies now i actually mentioned this on my previous video for like reviewing the new season in general and i was like i seen this the stamina leak removal like stamina removal i actually seen that and i was like is it gonna be good now this is actually not bad i would have liked per that would have been cool although he already has it in this skill but i'm saying if it was instead of modern war damage i would have taken aoe per uh removes 100 percent of stamina and applying a random assess like that would have been pretty cool uh for the amount of stamina you're using and the amount of cooldowns i would have actually taken that um but anyways furious dash removes control immunity from one enemy low magic damage to one enemy gives energy to itself so this one is okay i would say uh so control immunity from one enemy the fact that you're removing that now the thing is though this monster doesn't really deny he doesn't have any denial skills so removing the control immunity you're going to need another monster on your side to deny obviously so it could go well with some um monsters that denies um so any any monsters with that, that can actually do some denial like land those denials you can actually pair that up you can remove all control immunity oh this actually to one enemy you can only i guess do it to one 
unless that's the only monster that has it and then it's free to land it on everybody let's see what else we have here deals very low magic damage to one enemy removes torture immunity from one enemy gives one extra turn one extra turn to itself so removing torture so it's basically the same thing as this and the same thing as this except instead of control immunity removal you're doing a torture immunity so he has all kind of stuff like that ruins evasion to everybody uh we have a stand removal as well more stamina removal with stamina leak and then low magic damage and applies a random layer status effect to all enemies i would i would rather run this yeah instead of that one obviously but i would say these are the four best skills although if you want to kind of like kind of like cycle through these three although you can't really cycle forever unfortunately because they're all three turn cooldown uh so you can cycle through three of them um, but I don't think you could actually cycle forever. I actually want to test this. I don't think you could do it. But even then, you got to worry about anticipation. So you don't have to pair it up with another monster to open a path for you. And then this monster goes in. And he just gets rid of the little stuff like evasion, control immunity, torture immunity, and doing all that stuff. And then finally hitting with a PR or something. But anyways, so in terms of runes, um, I wouldn't give it a strength rune. Let me see what other players are actually running on this monster. Like first player, for example. First player is running one strength, one speed, and one team speed. What? So he's pairing it up with Can 11 and the actual attacker, which is actually not bad. But making this monster even slower. So 36k taken in first turn? Not really. You're boosting up the speed on this monster. So I'm assuming Can 11 takes in the first turn. With that level 14, you're going to be boosting a lot. So Can 11 takes in first turn, that monster gets in the turn, and then we have this monster that will basically deal the damage now, again you can pair it up with the denier if you want but it's up to you like sideborn wouldn't be that bad i actually want to test that out though let's uh i don't want to take it to pvp though that's the thing i, I don't want to mess with his pvp because he's in top two i i really don't want to mess with that and he's running it on defense so three attackers basically there let's take it to adventure map i, I respect them I, I respect his account so i'm not going to take it to that two tron i just seen no, that's Titan. <laughs> what? I thought it was Sutron. Um, but anyways, does Sutron still play the game? Let me know in the comments, guys. So, Ancestral. You can pair it with this. You can do Tideborn as well. And then finally, a Galactic Monster like K9-11. Taking in that turn to open a path for you. So, K9 is... How many, how many speed you got, K9? Did I pass him? There he is. So, the speed's pretty high on that monster, 42k. What I would do is make this monster take in second turn so what you can do is probably run three speed on that do like a two speed on one team speed as long as he takes in second turn and then third turn like make it as close as possible with each other now what i was actually thinking about doing was here's the thing i was actually gonna get into the relics before the relics we're gonna go ahead and give his defense team a go although it's a defense team it's not more of a offense and he actually works pretty well on defense i would say but we're going to go ahead and test that out, see how that actually plays out. Um, so this player is running Shadow SN and also New Wave Amulet. So we have Amulet and SN. That's actually very nice. That's a really good combo. I like that. Because here's the thing. You can run this if you want. You can also do a uh, stamina, uh, what should I call it? Uh, a relic that will actually give you stamina with, with this. Um, I'm not sure if players actually... There's, yeah, Tennis Amulet. You don't have a Tennis Amulet? Oh, man. I really wanted to give that a go because... This monster takes in a lot of stamina, so it's nice to give it a relic that will actually regenerate the stamina. But let's just go back to the new wave amulet. So after damaging with a skill, removes stamina from damage enemies 200. That's really nice. So if it's an AoE skill, you're going to be removing the 200. Plus, again, keep it, keep in mind, this monster can fully stamina drain, which is also very nice. So that's pretty cool though. You can fully stamina drain, um, and then also you could use a different attack. But what I actually want to do is, like I said, we're going to pair it up with the with the with the team that he actually has for defense so this is the uh team that he's actually running if i'm not mistaken let me just double check see what's up here on defense team those are three monsters so let's see how this plays out all right i feel like it would have been a lot cooler in, in a uh friendly battle so this monster takes in a turn you can go ahead and attack obviously now he hits pretty heavily keep that in mind right so we can do like a single target if, if anything or aoe whatever you want to do uh, there it goes shadow sn from both of these monsters which is very nice so that relic on him is actually kind of nice i like it um so if we need to support we could do that what would actually be cool is i feel like if if he makes that monster faster it would have been it would be a lot better right 
because he takes in the turn, he opens up the path a little bit for Tideborn and a Tideborn denies. I feel like that would work better. Let's give him a go. He finally gets a turn in. Oh yeah, let's take a look at the Rage of the Baboon, whatever that is. Let me see. So it applies triple damage and pierce to itself. Insane measure damage to all enemies removes positive side effects from, from itself. What? Oh, he becomes an attacker. That's why players are running this monster as attacker. It makes sense. I didn't even look at the um, Rage of the Baboon. I didn't even look at that. So that makes sense why players are actually running Strength Turns. So when it comes down to runes, yes, you can run a Strength Turn on this monster. You could do Team Speed and Strength, something we haven't seen in a while, I feel like, on a monster. So Team Speed, Strength would work well. Uh, play around with those. You could do Speed, Strength as well. We have Area Double Damage. All allies will deal 100% more damage. Gives immunity to all types of control. That's cool. So not only are you getting triple damage, but also double damage. That can be pretty scary. I actually want to see if they will do any positive status effects. Now, I'm not sure if Nord does have a skill like that. We can double check. But any of these guys could just apply any positive status effects. I, I would like that because I'm just going to use it. Um, same region. Okay, so there's same region and also life region. That should be at least two. Remove positive status effects, so that should be at least two, right? It should count as plus two. There it is. Plus two awakening charges. So that makes another plus two. Where'd that come from? Was it? Anyways, cool. We got our ultimate. We got our ultimate. That was so easy. How did that get happen? Hmm? We only had two other side effects. Hmm? Look at that damage. Two million. That's insane. Wait, what just got blocked? I wonder what that was. That's crazy. So you're getting the triple damage. You're also getting the double damage, which is pretty insane. Um, I actually want to double check that. What the heck was that? So here we go. He gets a turn in. We're not going to use any skill. We're going to let them do whatever they want. Apply. Oh, he just killed himself. And okay, I thought they were going to die. Good thing they didn't die. Okay, cool. Uh, control immunity. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Let it slide. Let's see what he... Um, he didn't do anything. But you know what? Let's actually use it against that control immunity. See um, what happens if it's just, if there's just one positive side effect. Let's see. So does it trigger as plus one or plus two? Since there's also the talent or relic. New wave amulet. Okay, so we'll count it as plus two technically. Um, and then they died. And then when they died, that technically counted as one. Quite interesting. Um, so they all have the damage reduction plus, um, so wait, what if they all have, what if they all have a random positive side effect, l not random, but they have positive side effect right now, right? Three of them. But then I already used my relic, didn't I? Oh, there's one more remaining uses. So would that count as six technically? Uh, because it's three and then another three form, uh, the amulet itself. So let's see, would this count as six? I wonder, or is it just the three? So he's gonna be the three and he's gonna just gonna awaken his uh ancestral form okay he awakened dead but i'm not sure if that actually counted as six so we'll go ahead and let him get a turn in he has dodge area he has control immediately triple damage as well and then he's also gonna have that triple damage which is really nice so you're getting that triple damage before you you pr it basically which is nice obviously that's how it works uh, before you deal with damage before you also uh kind of get rid of it um so that's cool i actually like that um, but again, that doesn't explain the fact that, um, here, hold on. What I'm going to do is just use a normal skill. Let's use, use a normal skill. It shouldn't do anything besides just eliminating them, obviously. There we go. And finally, there's another form here. Three positive statistics. So they have the damage section, damage section, and that, that immunity. So if I were to use this, that's plus three and a plus three again, because of the new wave, new wave amulet. If I'm not mistaken, so let's see, plus three. There goes another plus three. So technically you awaken it straight away. As long as there's at least three positive side effects on the enemy, that's how you can get these, uh, the new um, ancestral awakening. It is just crazy. All right, you know what? I take it back. This monster is pretty good. Monster is pretty good. It was a little bit hard to work around it to figure out what he actually does, but he is quite nice. I actually like that. Uh, but without further ado, guys, I'm going to put this back the way it was. Huge thanks to Lao Toots again. He's currently number two. Team Spirit 2015, my old team. Um, but yeah, huge thanks to him. I appreciate him uh, letting me borrow his account to make this video possible for you guys. Uh, so go ahead and you know say thank you to him in the, in the comments down below. But anyways, guys, it's going to be pretty much it for today's monster video. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and opinions on this new monster. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.